there was a Bitcoin mining summit, and Ghash has pledged to uh, has pledged to restrain themselves and not go above forty percent hash rate. Okay, great. Do you think they're actually gonna do that? <sighs> well, the thing is, I, haven't they made like a promise like that sometime in the past, and they still went over forty percent? Like they would, they. Should we trust them? They said them? that um, I don't trust them. They they said that uh, they have really great security and that nobody would ever be able to to get into their uh, servers mm -hmm. and that nobody on the inside would ever try to double spend. I, I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've ever put an actual cap on their hash rate. Um, but when I saw this yesterday, the first thing that came to mind was that oh well. You know they're just they're just gonna put they're they're just gonna have as much um as much hashing power as they want and anything over forty percent they're just going to uh, put Maybe, it in like the sell it or something no th they're gonna put it in the the other section like if if you go on blockchain uh, if you go on blockchain.info and you look at like the little pie graph of you know the various pools and their um and their hash rates. There's this one. There's this pretty significant uh, chunk that's labeled as unknown, and um, yeah. yeah. So you can so you can like you, you can like uh, be mining independently and not like be pointing your your uh, your rigs at any uh, particular pool, and I guess would be considered unknown. And so what Ghash mm. can do is that is they can just. Um, they can just take some of the miners and like, um, I don't know exactly how they how they would do it, but it would show up as not being uh, ghash hashing power. It would just show up as being unknown. Uh, and, okay. And that happened that happened recently when they when they got when they broke fifty percent and everybody got really upset about it and they said, oh no, don't worry guys, we're gonna fix this, we're gonna fix this, and then the hash rate went down, but the you know the portion of the hashing rate that was in this unknown label went up proportionate to the decrease in ghash's hashing power okay so they can always do that and look like they're under 40% but control you know 70% of the hashing power yeah so I, like if someone uh gained access to the ghash.io servers um could they still you know take that whole 70% and use that to execute a double spend attack even yeah, if there's but, only forty percent that are technically actually on Ghash. Yeah, because um, because even though it shows up, it, even though it doesn't show up as being controlled by Ghash, uh, you know they still control that hashing power. Like um, you know it's still it's still in their servers under their control. It's just it's not being reported under their name. You know, like I said, I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not you know an expert on Bitcoin mining, but you know they can do that somehow. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of people on Reddit who can explain it way better than I can. Yeah. Um, but basically, they they know how to do this, and it looks like they did it. You know, a few weeks ago when the whole you know ruckus was going on. So yeah. definitely, I would I wouldn't trust this promise. Um, there I has was, to be a long term solution. This is great for yeah, short term, but we've got to do something better in long term. Yeah, I, I would say we should, you know, continue encouraging miners to use P2 pool, which is a decentralized mining pool uh, that has, you know, like no overhead authority that controls all the hashing rate. So there, even even if P2 pool does get fifty one percent, they don't really have fifty one percent because nobody can come in control of it. Mm. Um, and then, you know, we should always be pursuing a really, really permanent solution, which is modifying protocol. The, the so code, yeah. it's impossible to get over 51%. Yeah. That's harder to do, though, because um, we, we have a bunch of different uh, computer scientists who work on the Bitcoin code. And not all of them get paid for their work. Not all of them, you know, work all the time. So getting changes done to the Bitcoin code itself is a very long uh, process of, of getting consensus between multiple people who have influence over that area. But um, ideally, 
we do need something like that because this is a major flaw in the Bitcoin system where if someone gets over 51% of the hashing power on the network, they technically have the ability to spend a transaction twice, which basically is duplicating the money, counterfeiting it, uh, creating it out of thin air. And it wouldn't necessarily destroy the network, but it would debase the trust in the network significantly. So in the short term, we'll hope that Ghash, you know, manages their, their, um, their reserves, right. And, and, you know, keeps it, keeps their actual mining, mining power below 40%. And I guess, yeah, we just have to trust them for now. And in the long term, uh, hope that something is done to the code that prevents this permanently so yeah yeah the perfect the perfect solution is to fix the code but what we can realistically do right now is decentralized mining pools yeah do you know do you know any miners personally uh because i i i don't i used to know a litecoin miner couple of years ago but i haven't been in contact and we're recently i don't know if he still mines litecoin or if he does something different but yeah like anyone watching this if you know any miners personally like you know just mention it to them in passing you know try and see if they're willing to change to p2 pool and even if it's a little bit less profitable for them uh try and make the argument that it's for the good of the bitcoin network overall and if you really want this to succeed as an alternative currency system that is long lasting and reliable for everyone, we have to pursue mining decentralization on all fronts. Yeah, and I don't think P2 pool is less profitable because uh, the reason why Ghash got so huge was that they, um, they offered some kind of 0% rate on some fee that other, uh, that other, pools had you know like a significant percentage uh, rate and so uh, you know a lot of miners flocked to ghash because you know they didn't have to pay whatever this fee is i don't know exactly what it is uh but p2 pool has the same zero percent rate on that fee so um wow. i think it can be just as profitable actually so yeah if if anybody knows a miner personally or they know somebody who's considering building a rig incurs in the point of that p2 pool if they're if they're considering a mining pool 